start by having a look at the guitar intro. So we have one chord shape that we're going to move around um, chromatically to get this part on the intro. So we can use this major 7 chord shape on the 10th position here. So we are barring on the 10th fret. And then we're moving chromatically 10, 11 and 12. So that's our position there. And then we're moving down to the 3rd fret. 3, 4, 5th position. With the same shape. So what's happening is I'm not putting pressure on this low bass note. I do want the high E string. So you want this high E string, which you can play like this, if you like, without the bar. So it'll sound like this, which will sound the same, basically. But what I like to do is keep the bar, but put the pressure down here on the high E string and not up on the low A string. So let's check out the rhythm for the intro. First off, we have down, up, down, up. And adding the next rhythm, down, up, down. Making sure that last hit is very staccato. And now adding the last part of the rhythm. So we have three downs. And right at the end, a down up. Okay, so all together we have... Also, another thing you can add at the end of this part is if you hold down the pressure to get down to the third position, uh, we want like a slide effect, which you can hear on the track. So we have... Same rhythm on the three, four, five. Let's just have a closer look at these three downs. We actually want a percussive up strum in between each down. Down, up, down, up, down. Continuing on the 16th note feel. And one more time we have... And now let's see what this sounds like up to tempo with the backing track. Cool, let's check out the chords in the verse. So we have E sus4 to E. And we're just barring the D, G and B string on the ninth fret. And to get the sus4, we're just adding the 10th fret with the um, second finger on the B string. The other shape on the E we have is up here on the 12th fret. 12, 12, 13. And this is our basic bar chord shape. So it comes from the top half of this bar, um, E bar chord on the 12th fret. Now we use that same shape. We move down two frets. So we're barring the 10th fret, and then back up to the 12th fret. And this is all over an E in the bass. So, E sus4, E, up to E again, down to D, back up to E. The next chord is an A major 7 shape. So we've, we've got the first finger on the 7th fret, and we're barring the 9th fret, top three strings. But what we really can do is we can just take the first finger, and bar the ninth fret on the G, B, and E string. So these are the shapes we're going to be using in the verse. Now rhythm-wise, we can play the same rhythm pretty much through the whole song, except for one small variation on this ninth fret A major 7 chord. So let's check out the rhythm. Uh, and Maybe what we can do is just grab one chord and see what this E chord and just see what our right hand's doing for the rhythm. So 
So down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up. Now we can keep that rhythm happening with our right hands and shift through the chord shapes we just went through. So let me play what happens in the verse. Now with this shape here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play these two strings, really. So here we go. Three, four. Now let's have a look at the chords in the pre-chorus. G sharp minor seven, C sharp minor seven, F sharp minor seven. Chromatic back up to G sharp minor seven, C sharp minor seven. But we only want the top three strings. So when we add the rhythm that we've learned to these three chords, plus the chromatic F sharp to G sharp, it sounds like this. G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, chromatic, G sharp, C sharp. Okay, one more time, and these are the shapes here. G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, chromatic, G sharp, minus seven, C sharp, minus seven. Here we go. Now we're moving into the hits, going into the chorus. So we're using the bar chord shape again. Same shape we used up on the 12th fret for the E. So, And rhythm-wise we have down, 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 up. Now one little thing, we're moving to a sus4 from this 8th fret to the 9th fret on the second last hit. So we have... Okay, great. Let's check out the chords in the chorus. So the first chord we have is G major 7. So the same shape as the very first chord, but we actually do want this bass note in there on the fifth string. And then we're moving to a D minor 7, G9, C major 7. Okay, so G major 7. Then we're just barring the 10th fret here with our first finger. And it's the D, G, and B strings only. Then what's happening is we want the D string only to move down to the 9th fret. And we want to keep the 10th fret on the G and the B strings. So I'm using my 1st and 3rd finger like I would be playing a G9 chord. But I'm just not adding the bass note in there just to keep the clarity. Down to the C sharp major 7 on the third fret. And then what we want to do, we want to use that same movement that we did on the D minor seven and G nine, this one here, but instead of the 10th fret, we're doing the eighth fret. So, and those chords are C minor seven and F nine. So let's have a look at the chorus all together with the rhythm. Now the very last hit, we want a chromatic from the F to an F sharp 9. F9, F sharp 9. And then back to the G major 7 to continue on the chorus.